In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how I managed to add this video overlay feature on this YouTube video. I'm going to be showing you step by step how I also created the graphic, which really points out where people need to click in order for them to get sound or even to play the video. So I'm going to be showing you all this step by step in today's video. So all the tools that I'll be using as well, I'll list them in the video description below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So first things first, I started off with the first layer black. The reason why I've done this is because I want to make sure that all the graphics that I add here are visible and I can see exactly what is happening because the end result is going to be a PNG file. So this is the image that we're going to use as an overlay. Okay, so let's come over here and start adding all our elements. So uh, you can start off with adding your text here. So if I click here on this T, this will add my text here. So this can be, say, for example, click here to play. Okay, so this can be your text. You can brand this, you can make it uh, whatever color you want. And you can also play around with the size. So let's say you want to increase the size. I've just hit command T. Uh, if you're on a PC, it's control T. So you can just adjust the size here until you're happy with the size. And you can also play around with the text. So let's say you want to use a specific font here. You can just click here on this drop down and then just go through all these fonts here that we have here by default in Photoshop. Okay, so uh, once you've added your text, the next step now is to add your arrow. Now, I already have an arrow here that, um, that I used. So here it is. So that's the arrow. So this text here can be centered. Usually when you have this really centered, you're going to see that blue line or is it purple? Can't really see. Okay, now it's time to uh, create our graphic here on the top. So to do that, you want to click here on the rounded rectangle tool and then you just want to draw it like that. So you can make it as big as you want. There we go. So now I have my rounded rectangle and you can also add your text in here. So in my case, I have my text here already added. So let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so I have my text here, which says click for sound. Uh, you can also change the color here to black if you wanted to. So it really stands out. In fact, you know what? We could just go in and do that. So if I highlight all this, I can then change this to black. And here is my color palette, by the way, if you can't really see. So there we go. So I have my color there black. So I can say OK. And then I can also change the color of this uh, icon here. So to do that, I'll just double click here on the layers and then I can just go to my color overlay. So let me just show you where that is. So here we go. I can click here on color overlay and change this to black like that. And now we have our graphics. So I'm just going to say, OK. So basically, I have all the text that I need here. Now to save this, all I have to do now is to remove this black background. So I'm going to click here to remove it. OK. So now that I've removed that, the next step now is to save this. So I'm just going to save this by clicking Shift Option Command S or Shift Control Alt S. So this will give you this, um, this graphic here. So what you want to do is to make sure you save this in PNG 24. This is what preserves the transparency on this uh, image here. OK, so now I'm going to go ahead now and save. And make sure you save it in a location that you can remember. Give it a name. Okay, so I'm going to call this Presto Auto Play, and then save this to the desktop like that. And then now, now I'm going to hit save. Okay, so now that I have this all saved, the next step now is to uh, go to my site and start adding all my elements. All right, so now that we've saved our image from Photoshop, it has a transparent background. The next step now is to download the plugin that we need in order for us to achieve this autoplay. Now, the plugin I'm going to use is really powerful. It's not just about autoplay. As you shall see, it has quite a lot of uh, features. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the plugin. It's called Presto Player. Now, I'm using the Pro version. And by the way, if you want to use this same uh, plugin, I have a link to that in the video description below so you can go ahead and purchase it. OK, so over here now I'm back on my site. I'm just going to come over here to plugins, click on add new and the plugin is called Presto Player. So I'm going to search for it. OK, so here it is. I've already gone ahead and activated it so you can see here it's active. So once you've saved that, you can see here the, there's an entry called Presto Player. So I've also gone ahead and installed the Pro version because the Pro version has the feature that we are talking about today. So this plugin here is pretty cool. So 
for only $69 for one year. You can have a license to this and you can host your own videos and have all these features that we're talking about. Okay, so like I said, I've already gone ahead and installed Presto Player. So I've installed the pro version as well. Now let's go ahead and customize it. So to customize this, what we need to do now is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. I'm going to give this page a name. So we're gonna call this autoplay and then I'm gonna use the default editor. So over here now I can add a new block and the block we're going to use is Presto YouTube. Presto YouTube. <laughs> okay, here we go. So I'm gonna click here. Now we need to go on YouTube and find a video that we need to paste in here. So all we need is the URL. So here I, I searched for quite a few videos and I came across uh, this YouTuber, his name is uh, Cold. He has really nice videos. So to really showcase this um, autoplay, you really need a um, video which has a lot of changing scenes in the video. It really looks cool, but of course it works on any YouTube video. Okay, so I'm gonna copy here this link. So I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come back over here and paste the URL. I'm gonna click on add video. Okay, so now my video is added. The next step now is to click here and you see now over here on the right, we have all our features. So the feature that we need to activate now is the muted autoplay. So I'm gonna click here on muted autoplay. And then that graphic that we created in the beginning of the video can be uh, added here on uh, muted preview overlay. Okay, so now I can click on overlay image. I'm gonna click on that. So since we saved it onto our computer, we need to find it. So I'm gonna click here on upload files. Okay, so the next step now is to add my file. So I, if I recall, I saved mine on the desktop and here it is. So this is the Presto Autoplay that we created earlier on. So I'm gonna drag it here into place and you can see here it has been uploaded. Next, I'm gonna hit select and now my graphic has been added. So right now it looks like uh, things are out of order. I think this is a glitch with Presto Player, but I think this is something that can be addressed easily. So what I normally do when I see this is I just drag this here a little bit and then I just drag it back. And again, right now we can see that uh, it looks like it's uh, overlapping. It doesn't really matter because when we save this, we're going to notice that everything is going to be in place because this video here is not actually the actual preview of the video. Okay, so now that I've saved this, I can now click on publish and hit publish one more time. So if I view my video now in a new tab, notice what happens. So here's my video. And now it's gonna start playing. So when you see a video like this, first of all, you're going to be curious to see what is happening in the video and uh, all the graphics here tell us to pretty much take action. And for this one here, it's telling us to click to play. And then over here, it says click for sound. So basically what you're doing is when you click here or here, it's just gonna start playing the video. So if I click here. So without Pretty a cool. doubt, when so this is how you create this autoplay feature on your YouTube videos. But of course, this player has a ton of features that I pretty much haven't covered. But the cool thing is if you uh, purchase a Presto player using my affiliate link in the video description below, you also get access to my course, which teaches you how to use Presto player. So if you're wondering why you may want, you may be interested in Presto player, it's because uh, this is a really cool tool that can be used by online course creators and also online marketers. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.